A first for the Tournament of Roses Royal Court. A young woman who is legally deaf in one ear has been selected as a rose princess. Cake Headlines Joy Benedict introduces us to this woman now living her childhood dream. It is a welcome for future champions as Lowry's Restaurant in Beverly Hills hosted its annual feast for teams appearing in this year's Rose Bowl. Among the applause and beats of the band was the Tournament of Roses Royal Court and one young lady working a little harder to enjoy it all. I'm deaf in my right ear, um, hard of hearing in my left ear. I can hear 40% and this is my cochlear um, Baja hearing aid. Salia Balik is the first member of the deaf community to be a Rose Parade princess. Being born and raised in Pasadena is every girl's dream. She was born with a birth defect, giving her no ear canals or ear drums. After two failed surgeries, she feared her dream wasn't possible. My favorite part was seeing the girls on the tiara and just having that mindset, oh, I want to be a princess too, but obviously I'm hard of hearing, so I wasn't sure if that was possible. I've never seen it done before. But when she learned this year's parade theme was turning the corner, she felt she had to try. If I'm not going to do it, then who is? So if I start turning this corner, trying to do it, then I want it, it's going to inspire other girls. She says she hopes other young girls who are hard of hearing see her shine. Over 35 million people watch it throughout the world. They're all going to be able to see the hearing aid, and I'm going to have many little kids be inspired to wear their hearing aids too. But you don't have to be a little girl to be inspired by her story. Without these, I'm completely deaf. Nancy Yeager has been a server at Lowry's for 20 years, and she is deaf. When she heard about Balik, she couldn't help but feel proud. It's amazing. I, I have, I'm at a loss for words about this person becoming a rose princess and being able to just elevate whatever she wants to do. And although topping this young lady's wish list is high school graduation, college, and becoming a doctor, she says this experience with the Tournament of Roses Parade has helped her find a strength to spread a message for us all to hear. Being deaf doesn't define you. You define the world. Joy Benedict, KCAL 9 News. Now 35 million people to hear her message.